Hello, it's me. <laughs> Hi you guys, I'm back and better than ever, okay? I know it's been a very, very long time since my face has been on this channel. Um, and I do have a good reason, reasons I should say, but it's a whole lot of whole lot of in the words of Zoe. So I'm not gonna get into it in this video. Honestly, I'm not even ready to get into all of the tea, but you can look forward to it in future videos and how I just change my lifestyle in general. But in today's video, we will basically be doing key tries beauty trends because the internet says so. And basically, I'm gonna try it so you potentially do not have to for yourself. So I will be dumping my face in freezing cold water. Yeah. You guys know I love a natural remedy that is very affordable. And in this case, it's practically free. All you need is a bowl. So if you did not know, icing can help reduce puffiness to the face, especially around the eyes. So it's really nice to do this in the morning time. It also helps with swelling and inflammation of the skin. It can also help with aging, such as wrinkles. And my favorite part is that it helps you with a natural glow. So enough of my chatter. Let's hop on into this video now. All right, y'all. So on day one, it looks like my camera applied a filter without my knowledge. So of course I wanted to show you the before straight off of my iPhone with no filter and moving forward the filter is not going to be applied so yeah. <laughs> the moment has arrived. I'm anxious. I'm scared. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so basically you're going to dunk your face, fully submerge it in this water which is freezing for about 15 to 20 seconds two to three times. You don't really want to go any longer than 30 seconds especially if you're a beginner like me. Whew, we can do this. Let's let's go, girl. <gasps> oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna do this again. Let's go. <laughs> it's like every time I know I'm gonna go, I I pause for a little bit. Okay. All right, we got this. Do we got this though? I don't know. Okay. We got this. Oh my God, it's so cold. All right, so that's all for today, y'all. My face is freezing. Um. It does feel really plump though, um, and super soft. So there's that, that's my day one results with it. I'll see you guys on day two. Hopefully I can keep my face underwater longer and not be so intimidated. Cause it's just some ice cubes, like she really thought. I'll see you guys tomorrow on day two. Good morning, it is day two, and um, we're gonna just jump right into it. All right, that wasn't too bad this morning. I think mentally I was like, yeah, we're not getting played with this ice today. If you are enjoying this video, this is your reminder to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you are notified every time your girl posts a new video. I did it! <laughs> so yes, overall, I do love how plump and baby soft my skin feels after doing this. I don't see any drastic difference um, in appearance which i didn't expect for day two but i am looking forward to the end of the week to see if i see any differences in my skin texture um or the dullness really but yeah i really like how awake i feel after doing this but that is it for day two and i'll see you guys tomorrow on day three Hi my loves, we are back, it is day three, and we are gonna get into it. As you can see, I'm ready to head out and run some errands, AKA Target Run. But before I head out, I'm gonna get this icing facial out of the way. The ice is pretty much melted, but it's cold, y'all. It is cold.
Is it crazy that I am proud of myself that I can hold my breath underwater a lot longer now? Practice makes perfect. Okay, so day three, we took it like a champ. But yeah, that is all for today. I love how my skin feels after this. It always just feels so plump and soft. I am going to follow up with my skin routine. Um, I like to keep things super simple when I'm doing like challenges like this so I can see if the challenge itself has an impact on my skin. And also don't forget your sunblock when you are going outside. But that is it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow on day four. Four. Hi my loves, we are back. It is day four and I just came home from the gym. My face is hot and I have no makeup on it. So we're going to go ahead and dump my face in this cold water. I should just say we're going to do our ice facial. It sounds more classy. All right, so this is a more zoomed up version of how my skin is looking. I think my pores are looking a little tighter and my skin looks so bright and glowy. And I still think my skin feels super soft and plump instantly after doing this ice facial. So I'm excited to see you guys tomorrow on day five. Hi my loves, we are sliding into day five. I'm super excited, let's get to it. You guys already know the drill. I place my face into the bowl for 15 seconds twice. And y'all, I was getting so proud of myself. Um, I, of course, had to do my little countdown. And yes, these clips are sped up because y'all already get the gist of this. <laughs> the skin was glowing, honey. I was feeling the results and I thought the texture looked very smooth. I also wanted to show you guys a quick little recap of the products I was using throughout the week. I wanted to keep it super simple um, and not too complex. I'll let you guys know what they are in detail in the description box below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are back in the girls room. How many of you guys are old enough to know that reference? Oh my gosh, please don't let me be the only one. Anyways, we are getting our cold water and ice cubes ready for our ice facial. By the way, I think I put a little too many ice cubes. As you can see, that water was in the fridge, so it was really cold. Plus all those ice cubes. Yeah, I was going through it. Oh, oh. Okay, back to reality. I don't know if I added too many ice cubes, but today was a challenge. Literally, like, my face is numb. <laughs> Alright you guys, so it is day six and this is how my skin is looking. Personally, I think my pores are visibly more tighter. My skin has a very obvious glow to it um, before and after I do this ice facial, which I am loving. And the texture feels super smooth and soft. So I'm very pleased and I can't believe our challenge is coming to an end. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on day seven. Hi my loves, we are back. It is day seven, the final day of this ice facial challenge. And y'all, I think I added too much ice. I got a little too excited. I might regret this very shortly. Um, but we're gonna jump on into this now. You wanna take a deep breath and then just go for it. <laughs> All right, let's just do this one more time. I can feel the blood rushing to my face right now, but it feels great, not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time. Wow, okay. All right, y'all, let me go dry my face real quick, and then I will show you my final result of me icing my face for seven days, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on if you should try it, if it's a yay or if it's a nay. So, give me one second.
Alrighty, my loves. So now it is time to share my final thoughts with you guys. All right, so let's hop into the pros. Doing ice facials really wakes you up and it gives you a burst of energy like no other. So if you don't want to drink coffee anymore, do an ice facial. It will help you. <laughs> Secondly, I think out of this entire process, my skin got a visible glow, okay? I really see it. The pores look tighter and smaller to me. I think it improved my skin a little bit in seven days. And you guys already know, I'm all here for the beauty benefits, but you may not know that there are actually scientific results on why you should do ice facials or ice therapy is what they call it. Ice therapy helps you calm your nervous system. So if you've seen people do ice baths and they dunk themselves in it for a few seconds and it looks so painful and miserable and you're like, why did you do this? It's because your body will thank you for it. Essentially, doing a ice facial can get you the same results. I know, mind blown. I mean, did you think we were gonna touch science on this channel? Neither did I. <laughs> so basically, the information I got online is that most of our temperature receptors are on our face, and that will get to your vargas nerve. So essentially, you will get very strong biological benefits when doing ice facials. So what they suggested was to do this for about 8 to 10 seconds, which, hear me out, I think makes sense, and I'll tell you why later. And to do it at nighttime, which will help you with resting, so your nervous system will feel calmer, and I think that is just awesome because this is practically free. All you need is a bowl that fits your face. It can be a metal bowl and you put it in the freezer and then you take it out and you put some cold water and you dunk your face inside of the water and you get the same results. Or you can do what I did, take a glass bowl and put some cold water and then add some ice cubes, okay? But yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys because not only will you be receiving beauty benefits, but it's actually good for your nervous system as well. And if you struggle with anxiety or any type of mental health issues, I think it's very helpful. I've struggled with anxiety at times. And you know, sometimes when you're feeling like super overwhelmed, like sensory overload, panic attacks, I think it's very helpful to just, you know, dump your face in the water. You instantly won't think of anything else. It will shock your system essentially and you'll just feel a lot calmer. Now with the 8 to 10 seconds, I think that makes sense. When I was doing research before this challenge, people recommended 30 seconds. And let me just tell you, I think they're professional swimmers because I could hardly hold my breath for 15 seconds. All right, so do what is best for you, do what is comfortable for you. So for me, I did 15 seconds two times, which equals 30 seconds, or at least I attempted to do that, you know? Um, but I would say eight to 10 seconds, just don't do it to the point that you feel a brain freeze because on some days, even today, like I got a little like shock where it was like a little too cold and like numbing, and that's not what you want. But yes, you don't have to go overboard, of course, for video purposes I have the aesthetically pleasing bowl and I added a lot of ice cubes but you don't have to do that you just want the water to be cold so either put the bowl in the freezer take it out add some cold water or do what I did but add a little less ice cubes because you don't want to cause damage to the skin and a lot of dermatologists will recommend you not putting your face in the water with direct cold ice because if you do this over time you know, in repetition like I did with a lot of ice, it could cause some damage to your skin. And I don't want y'all out here saying I motivated you to cause damage, okay? That is not what I'm here for. <laughs> so just make sure the water is chilled. If I can do this again, I would add less ice cubes. And I would use other tools that give you that effect. So I would take like a damp cloth, place this in the cold water if you're like a beginner and put this on your face for a few seconds. So do I recommend this ice facial? Yes, yes I do. I give it a thumbs up. Just take into consideration what I said about the ice and the repetition of doing it. If you try this out for yourself, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up and share this video to a friend that you think will enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed yet, honey, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys very shortly in my next video.